Hey, what's up guys? Check this out. Now this beautiful Gaboon girl right here had babies. Check this out. This is all the pretty little babies that she had just a few weeks ago. In the midst of talking to you about these Gaboon Vipers having the babies, here's the mom. Now she's absolutely gorgeous. Sebastian, I'll tell you what, get the camera and come right up over the top of her and see if you can capture just how pretty this girl is and the colors that she's got going on. All right, so this is an absolutely beautiful girl, okay? And you see the male in here. You've seen him in picture before. But this girl right here, first time mom, these are from Africa, one of Africa's largest viper species. They have the longest fangs of any known venomous snake on the planet. Their fangs can be over two inches long. They fold back in the roof of the mouth. They get that uh, telltale rhinoceros viper moniker from the rhino horns right on the tip of the nose right there. Now there's a true rhino viper. It's a little bit smaller than these guys. The horns are a little bit longer and they're actually quite a bit prettier than these guys. They're quite a bit more colorful than what even the gaboons are. Now as you see and as you will see these babies were absolutely beautiful beautiful little guys. So check it out as most of you have probably seen on the Facebook page our male-female pair of gaboons had babies. All right, now I'm going to just show you some of the, the video here of kind of these babies. You know, really, really cool stuff. We don't typically attempt to breed venomous very often. I, I do breed cobras. I haven't done it in the last about two years, but I don't just actively breed venomous snakes as a grand hole as the market is not as big for there to be places for those babies to go. So there's no really big point in producing a boatload of something that's not really a place for them to go. But anyways, just so happened that at this particular time that we were uh, making these uh, available and these uh, babies had them, I had the only what's considered CBB true U.S. captive born and bred babies available at the time in the country. So it was pretty kind of pretty cool. So we did some looking around. Nobody else had any up for, uh, uh, up for availability for facilities for other keepers, things like that. And so uh, these guys just happened to, to have their babies at, a, uh, at an interesting time for us. So you can see the, let's see if I can get my, right there, that's the female. And this right here is the male. And so Sebastian was up here cleaning one, one afternoon. It was after hours. He was just up here just doing some maintenance and some, some stuff. And uh, all of a sudden he calls me from the zoo and says, uh, Dad, I need you to get up here. There's baby gaboons everywhere inside of the gaboon viper exhibit. And you can see they've got a ramp here. They've got a platform. They've got uh, this uh, about, uh, about 10 foot pin here has all kinds of real rocks and and out crops and scapes and everything in it. And so this pen is, is pretty big and you'll notice in the video that, uh, that we, we, we counted um, way underneath before we turned the video off and just went back to trying to find babies. We were finding them under rocks, under housing items, under water dishes. We were finding babies absolutely everywhere. These things had, uh, uh, some of them had burrowed themselves pretty good. So we had to go through this exhibit uh, this zoo exhibit and kind of find all the little uh, uh, all the little uh, danger slugs as uh, everybody wants to call them. They do look like little slugs. They're beautiful. I love baby gaboons. They have big heads and big eyeballs for the little bitty body. And eventually they grow into their 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 bodies like her head and his head matches their body. But as babies they got big old noggins, big old eyes for the little bitty heads that they have. But anyways, I'll show you some of these and we'll also show you some of the uh, uh, some of the final uh, product of babies, as you can see kind of uh, right here, you see the uh, end product of uh, 26 beautiful, beautiful little baby gaboon vipers. And, uh, and at this point, they're all gone. They've, uh, we've already, I think we may have like one or two left, uh, but uh, I think 
for the most part, pretty much all of them are already gone. They're beautiful. We held on to four of the babies. I'll show you some of the babies that we held on to uh, just so that we would have you know, a couple of backup animals in case something ever happened to these two, then we would at least have backups and uh, we wouldn't have to uh, buy it from anybody. So uh, pretty cool stuff. But anyways, we'll, we'll show you kind of when we first, uh, first got here and, uh, and show you kind of where we were finding these little guys, some of them. Yeah, so our gaboon mom had babies. Quite a few little babies and there's mom quite deflated. <laughs> <laughs> there's a few slugs. She's a first time mom, she's not too terribly bad. There's, how many Sebastian? There's gonna be six. I believe there's seven alive. Seven total. Seven total alive. Looks like there's probably, there was two deformed ones. Three, three deformed ones. There's going to be one, two, three, four, five. So she would have had about 18, 19, 20, somewhere in there total. So that's cool. Uh, Chad, watch your hand, please. Okay. Now the video does end, and I'll just end the video here. It's no, no big deal. But uh, like I said, uh, just wanted to show you something pretty cool. It doesn't happen all that often because we don't really try for it like the berms and boas and a few of the other species that we actively breed to, uh, to kind of help uh, some of our customers be able to get some quality pets and, uh, uh, and be able to uh, keep the uh, storefront stocked with uh, quality animals. So, but anyways, we appreciate you coming along with us. Make sure to right there. Uh, you hit that uh, subscriber button right there and uh, make sure you do that and we appreciate you following along week after week after week and coming along with us and uh, uh, we look forward to either seeing you uh, here at the zoo or we'll see you on the next episode. Later.